Hello everyone and welcome back. Are you tired of the same old boring bar charts? I'm gonna show you how to add some flair to your data by creating a jittered bar chart. You'll get to see more of your data without losing the scope of the overall. Let's look at an example. Here we have the count of basketball players based on their heights and it's a simple bar chart, but we could add some flair to it by creating this jittered bar chart. Each dot represents a player, but you can still see the overall shape of the data. How do we build that? To create a jittered bar chart, all we need to do is create a bit of noise around the x-axis and the y-axis. It'll add more granularity to your data, prevent overlapping, and give your chart a unique look. Try it out, and I bet you'll impress your colleagues with your new skills. Let's get started. If you're new here, my name's Andy. I'm the global head coach of the Data School, and I created this channel to help you become a great data analyst. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on building a jittered bar chart in Tableau. This example is gonna use the Superstore dataset. We're gonna look at how many customers made a purchase in each quarter of each year. We're gonna get that overall shape to understand the volume of customers, and we're gonna see each individual customer as a dot. To do that, let's start by dragging order date to the columns, and hit the plus sign next to year to split it out by quarters. Change the fit from standard to entire view to make it fill the whole space. Drag customer name to the detail shelf. Change the mark type to a circle. Now we need to add our noise on our X and our Y axes. Create a new calculated field. I'm gonna call this one total customers. And all it's going to be is the index function. The index function allows us to create an order for each of the customers. So in other words, if there's 100 customers, the index will go from one to 100. So they'll scale up. Let's drag that field to our rows. For our columns, we're gonna use the random function. Create another calculated field. I'm gonna call this one jitter. My function is the average of the random function. Notice that the random function didn't pop up as one of the standard functions in Tableau. That's because it only works with certain data sources. So if you type in random and then open and close brackets and you get an error message, that means that your data source does not support the random function. By wrapping the random function in an average, it scales everything to between zero and one. Click on okay and drag jitter to the columns. Now we need to configure our table calculation in order to add that noise to the Y axis. Right click on total customers and choose edit table calculation. Choose specific dimensions, uncheck year and quarter, and check the customer name. The reason we uncheck year and quarter is because every time we get to a new year or quarter, we want to re-index the customers. Close the table calculation window. And now we have something that looks like our jittered bar chart. Now let's do a bit of work to make it look a bit fancier. I'm gonna drag sales to the size so we can see which customers had the most sales. I'm gonna click on the size shelf and maybe drag the slider over. Adjust it to whatever way you like. Click on color, and I'm gonna reduce the opacity. But now it's hard for me to see which year is which. So I'm gonna drag order date to the color again, and now we can see each year has its own color. But now I wanna be able to distinguish the quarters within each year. So click the plus sign next to year on the color shelf, and when quarter appears, click on the dots to the left and choose color. And now both year and quarter are on color. 2019 is in blue, 2020 is in orange, etc. But within each quarter, the colors have a slightly different color, going from darkest to lightest. Right click on the view and choose format. Go to the lines option and turn off your grid lines. Turn off your zero lines. Right click on the jitter field on the columns and uncheck show header. Right click on it again and uncheck include in tooltip. Right click on total customers, uncheck include in tooltip. And now when we hover over a dot, we can see the customer the quarter, and the amount of sales for that customer in that quarter. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Now you can create a nice looking bar chart that adds more granularity to the data, but it doesn't lose the overall shape. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like. And don't forget to click on subscribe. I don't want you to miss any of the videos I create. Have a good day.